everybody and welcome back to the second video in the Winner in a Week Poker Math series entitled Essentials Made Easy. My name is Dylan and today in this video I'll be covering equity, expected value, hand matchups, ranges and flops uh, essentially in, uh, especially in Texas Hold'em. Uh, cash games, we'll also take a brief look at equity in Omaha 7 stud and tournaments. However, the latter three are covered specifically in, in individual videos. Um, they're all very, very big topics in and of themselves. And the main idea of this video is just to give you a, a very broad understanding of what equity is, especially um, how that expresses the monetary value, um, works out in Texas Hold'em, and um, take it from there. So with that, I'd like to go directly to the outline. Uh, equity, as such, most of you know that term from uh, probably purchasing houses. It basically means your share of the total value. Okay, in poker, it's exactly the same. It's basically your share of the pot based on the strength of your hand in relation to the strength of your opponent's hands. If we just take a brief example, Texas Hold'em scenario, you've got uh, a pair of queens versus a pair of tens. That's going to be an overpair underpair situation, in which case you're going to have approximately 80% equity versus your opponent's holding. If both of you guys push pre-flop, everything that goes into the middle, 80% of that is yours. 20% of that is your opponent's in the very long run. For that specific case, of course, 100% is either going to you or to him, unless there's a yeah, freak occurrence with a split, which also happens. But, yeah, in essence, you know, it's going to be an 80-20 split, and in the very long run, you get 80% of everything that's in the pot at that point. If you lose, you know, when you're, when you're a 4-1 to favorite, that can sting if you're not adhering to bankroll management. So let's take a quick example here, uh, which we just mentioned, uh, concerning a house. So the market value of your house is 100 grand. The bank put up 80%, you put up 20 Right, so everyone in this scenario understands that you know 20% of that house, is, or at least the value of that house, is yours, barring any yeah, other fees. Um, the expected value is simply this number times the total market value, and that's the actual monetary result. So, uh, if you sell your house at exactly 100,000, uh, the bank's going to take down 80, and you're going to take down 20. Uh, this would be exactly the situation that we just mentioned with uh, the bank holding queens and you holding tens uh, in a hold'em scenario. Uh, very briefly, that's what expected value and equity are and how they relate to each other. Uh, if you want the details on that, have a look at this website here. I've just highlighted this here, the equivalent uh, to the probability weighted sum of the possible values. That means adding up the possibility of, of you winning, losing, and tying. And that can get actually quite complicated uh, depending on the situation. And attributing that to a monetary value. And that's what you're going to get here with your expected value. Uh, read through this when you get a chance. Uh, it's quite good, just to give you a, a more in-depth understanding of the math behind it. Okay, everybody, and the second side I want to look at here is uh, an article by Tony Guerrera. It's about fold equity, and fold equity is exactly the same principle as actual uh, equity based on the strength of your hand. Um, but it's, it's an extra value that you can add to any given move based on the probability that your opponent will fold. This explained in very great detail is what this article is all about. And actually, uh, he's written this article kind of from the perspective of a tournament player, but all of the principles pertain just as much to a cash game scenario. When you guys get a chance, have, definitely have a look at this article. Although it is kind of math intensive, it is uh, relatively short, I think a couple of pages, and definitely worth your time. Fold equity is something that is included in the calculators that we'll look at here in a moment, or at least in, in some of the calculators, and um, others are based just on pure yeah, pot odds and the strength of your hand uh, against a certain range. But this fold equity, this principle here is very, very important, especially for turning to play, uh, but also pertains to cash game scenarios. Okay, this hand EV analysis, this millions of fixed limit real money games. Back in the day, uh, some years ago when I was playing fixed limit uh, quite a lot, I ran these numbers. Yeah, and they're still pertinent uh, to today's game. There's still a lot of guys who play fixed limit. Fixed limit games are also yeah, good fun. They're also also very lucrative. 
you can play yeah you can play both it's um it's not that one is better than the other they're just two different types of games and you should understand the difference next spreadsheet that I'm going to show you guys is okay, it's an ED analysis of hands basically that were published by certain uh, poker sites based on real money play in fixed limit so aces over look at this 115 million hands 115 million hands uh, dealt at real money tables Texas Hold'em over that sample size the expected value for aces was only 2.32 total in fixed limit scenarios that's going to be of course quite a bit higher um, in no limit scenarios but just to give you an idea of how that how that works out over time uh, at least in this in this uh, in this regard uh, and this shows you here your you know the percentage of the count this is also very important uh, for online sites that do publish their stats that these numbers look exactly like that <laughs> uh, if there's any variation of that over a couple hundred million hands heads up you know the, the sites probably a bit shady mathematically everything should work out according to um, probability theory as the n approaches infinity okay just know that uh, which is why exactly that you see these numbers that are always completely consistent for the hand at the left column here yeah that's that's basically just a quick overview of that fixed limit um, here's another one that was over 16 uh, million hands I believe uh, and that shows you here what the ED was for each for each hand you guys can just pause the video and have a look at that okay and this next part here is then an analysis that I ran at that time based on uh, the numbers that were published for early, middle, and late position, as it were here, uh, the average expected value and the average win percent over the very long haul. Uh, and I'll just scroll down here to let you guys have a look. All right, and all of a sudden, you're getting into the super, super red. All right, and again, this is fixed limit. Just to show you where your EV lies with certain hands okay and this is again you know uh, it's based on real real play on live play it doesn't mean that it's mathematically um, perfect and exactly how that's going to work out but that's you know that's how it did go down in these 115 million hands or whatever over the very long haul then I just basically um, took this and analyzed it in different places uh, sorted it via the average EV here and that would basically give you your according to these stats your top playable hands but of course you see things like this is queen 10 suited this ace 5 right these are the kind of variant situations where um, some guy you know flopped the flush here for example ended up uh, getting paid off big from somebody with an overpair for example or yeah whatever the scenario was right again take this with a grain of salt but that's you know it does give you a good idea of you know especially here this is quite sound um, also corresponds very well to yeah modern starting hands charts etc um, this again was then just analyzed for the different positions all the way down. For you fixed limit players, this might be interesting. For you no limit players, yeah, again, it's yeah, it's interesting information just to see how how certain hands worked out over such a large sample size. Uh, that's enough for fixed limit. We will then move on here to our equity calculators, and this is where it gets uh, much more exciting. This poker stove, brilliant site can't believe this guy is still allowing this amazing program to be out there for free I do hope he's getting compensated for that somehow but it's an amazing site and that's uh, the program and this is what we're going to look at right now the way this works is you can enter up to 10 players right this RD is a random hand uh, just click that and it gives you random you can enter here player one player two whatever it is uh, your hand is king off suit for example or suited if you don't enter anything, it's both. Okay, so ace king suited and offsuit uh, versus let's say a pair of fives. Actually, if we want to just do an exact hand matchup, let's just do ace king o versus two fives, two over cards versus an under pair. Very very standard matchup, 55-45 split. We'll get into that here uh, shortly. When you play with perfect knowledge. Let's say, for example, uh, you're playing a game uh, and everything is dealt face up. You can theoretically know this 
Yeah, in any given situation. Right? If you don't know these matchups by heart, uh, you're playing it at, at a huge disadvantage against most players today. So um, the, the principles of these matchups we'll get into here shortly, but what happens is when you're playing online, when you're playing live, it's not that you're playing an individual's single hand. You're playing an individual's uh, or an opponent's entire range of hands. So let's say you're player one here. Uh, you've got ace, king, O. Oh. You put the player based on his style of play, based on his, on, on his bets and what he's done so far. You put this guy on a pair of tens or better, tens plus, or ace, jack, say, for example, or better. And that didn't work out for us, so we're going to come over here. When you click that player 2, you have a couple options available for you. You can actually come in here and just click, as you see here, a pair of 10s is all highlighted. Or you can go here, preflop, and select the hands individually. Let's say the guy's playing this. Right, maybe king, queen as well. And we'll throw in a pair of 9s. So this range, pair of 9s are better. Ace 10 suited or better, and Ace Jack offsuit or better, plus the King Queen suited, represents 6.9% uh, of all hands in Texas Hold'em. Hit apply, and that will update this field right here. Okay, and then you hit evaluate again. Let's say, for example, if you were to push preflop with Ace King, okay, against this range here, you think the sky is raising or you know limping or whatever else with this very very uh, relatively tight range. Of seven percent. Whenever you push preflop with ace king against this entire range, if you're correct, of course, <laughs> then you're going to have 55 percent more or less equity uh, in the very long run against that entire range of hands. And that range, you you come to based on, yeah, based on this scenario, right? You, you're thinking. Uh, you know, okay, he's he's only played this out of the other. I'm gonna narrow his his range down, not from any pair, right, or not from any Broadway, uh, or any suited, as you can see here, right. Um, let's clear that. That's I mean, it's not he's no longer playing any pair. Uh, he's no longer playing any Broadway. But again, you know, given his play, maybe we can put him on a tighter range. Maybe Jack's a better. Yeah, we won't even give him. The ace jack offsuit, and we'll tighten him up like this, for example. Put him at a five percent range. Okay, so I say three bet. You never three bets, whatever. Uh, so now your ace king against that range is only fifty-two percent. Um, and that's how you can kind of play with this calculator. It shows you also down here exactly how how that works out here with your equity, your win, your ties, uh, total pots, etc. Uh, ace jack offsuit against this entire range. Uh, very brief overview. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant um, program. It's something you should definitely have a look at and uh, incorporate into your game.